Chess Diagnostic. Hello everybody, welcome to Chess Diagnostic. Today we're going to look at a game played between Napoleon Bonaparte and the Turk, which was actually run by a human of course, but it will be considered the first chess computer. And maybe it wasn't a computer playing this game, but it was definitely a better player than Napoleon. So the Turk is black and Napoleon is white and he starts with e4, e5, and with queen to f3, and after knight to c6, he goes for an attempt at the scholar's mate, where the bishop and the queen are trying to just simply mate on f7. Now, this might work, except after knight to f6, black is simply developing his minor pieces, and white's queen and bishop, well, maybe not the bishop, but at least the queen blocks the knight, and he gets into some trouble pretty early on. So, of course, knight to e2 is not a bad move, but the knight would prefer to be on f3. This is way too slow. He needs to bring another knight out. Napoleon was an amazing war strategist, but he didn't seem to understand that the same principle applies in chess, where you need to develop your army as fast and accurately as possible. So the Turk here is just simply following good opening development of his minor pieces. Of course, combining it with attack on the queen, which is the drawback, because now black gets to develop with a tempo. And black starts a slightly early attack, but given the strength of Napoleon's play, it's the right decision. He was going to take that knight anyway, because now after knight to f4 and a terrible blunder, black or white should have played queen to g4, keeping his queen active and preventing black from playing queen to g5. Now, the Turk makes a mistake. After queen to g5, we get a pretty much forced checkmate, because white can't play g3, we'll just take that pawn, because the f2 pawn is pinned to the king and then we get a checkmate. So we don't actually see this line in the game. There's a slightly less strong variation, but it still works out with knight to d4, trying to just bring another piece into the game. It makes logical sense, but black's activity is enough that he could have just simply played queen to g5 and checkmated white. Nevertheless, Napoleon makes another blunder with bishop to b3. There's really no reason for this move as it just reduces his activity, doesn't develop a piece, and now Napoleon has these three pieces on the queen side doing nothing, and black starts a very effective attack. If you want to try to guess the move, with knight takes h3. Of course, if the pawn takes, then we get the fork of the queen and the king, White tries to hang on with king to h2, but after the queen comes in, it's pretty much hopeless. We still get the check, the fork of the king, and the queen. Even taking the queen with check. And queen to g4 is not as good. He could have played knight to f4 and then won the rook, and he would have been mated soon. So we don't see that. We see queen to g4, and now it's just way too late for white to try to develop any pieces. He's down too much material. Bishop takes, now we're threatening checkmate on g3. The rook pretty much should have just sacrificed itself, but that wouldn't have done anything. So now we're threatening checkmate on f2 wins the rook. The king is boxed in with the bishop covering these squares. Threatening mate on e2. The knight tries to defend, but after the bishop takes, we get checkmate finally on e2. A very interesting game between Napoleon Bonaparte and the first chess computer, the Turk. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for future videos. See you in the future.